since my ceilings are painted popcorn, I decided to cover them with shiplap instead. I started by removing the ceiling fan and also the room divider that was attached to the ceiling. We moved most of everything out of the room and then Vinny removed the barn door hardware. So all of my joists are going this way. So my shiplap is actually going to be perpendicular to that. That way, every single location that there's a joist, I can use a brad nail and attach the shiplap directly to the joist. I also am going to be using construction adhesive as well. Um, but what I did now is I just marked the location of each joist with a screw. So here's where you can see the screws are in. So right here from the side over here, it's actually 16 inches. After that, it's every 24 inches I have a screw in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry the same exact measurement from there over to this side of the room and the same thing. Every location, I'm just going to carry it right on over to here and I'll pop a chalk line right across over here. I have one end attached down there. I'm just holding it up against this first screw that I had marked the joist. Pulling the chalk line just kind of super tight against that. And then just pulling it. And then that just transfers the chalk right up to the ceiling along the joist. Now the entire ceiling is marked. So each joist has a chalk line over it. So now when I go to do the shiplap of boards, it's going to be so much easier because I'm just going to attach a brad nail into each location that the shiplap intersects with a chalk line. All right, so our boards are 12 feet long. Uh, the actual length of this is 160 inches. So we're going to be like staggering it a little bit. I don't want all the seams to line up the same spot. Just some liquid nail construction adhesive and I'm going to be putting like a snake. You don't have to go crazy with it, but just like a snake along the back side of it. Uh, I just help kind of adhere it up there. Here's where we finished off tonight. So we only got about a third of the way done, but tomorrow, since all of the lines are already up, we'll be able to finish it pretty easily. And then after that, I'll just be filling in all the nail holes, caulking all the seams, and then giving it a nice coat of paint. 